This is the login screen of the software. Um, this is the screen that all of your employees will be using to log into the software. If we go ahead and click on the login button, you will see that we'll be asked for a password. It's basically asking for either a manager or employee password. A manager password will be uh, the one that actually unlocks everything in the software. Of course, the manager has the right uh, and the privilege to do any operation in the software, whereas the employee password would be uh, one of those passwords that you'll set for all of your employees. And you can also set certain privileges and restrictions as far as like what your employees can and what they cannot do. Uh, Per employee and um, right now you can see that uh, we have a pre-filled value in this text box in here that is because we are running the software for the first time and we haven't really changed anything as far as um, passwords or security we haven't really assigned any passwords so the default one is pre-filled that's a manager password that's gonna let us test out the software better and uh, it's one two three but you can't really see the value in here because it's messed out with these star characters and that's how it's always going to be when you type in something in these password fields that's just a security precaution in case somebody's looking over your shoulder when you're typing in a password or something like that so we'll go ahead and click OK and that will let us into the software 